you've been feeling like your AI buddy's been acting a bit different lately, maybe quicker, sharper, and just a tad smarter, you're not alone. OpenAI has been sneaky, rolling out some major changes without a big announcement, but don't worry, I've got all the details you need to know right here. So let's talk about it. Last week, I started noticing that ChatGPT felt different. It was like the responses were more on point, faster, and just generally better. I wasn't the only one either. People all over social media were talking about how ChatGPT seemed to be upgraded. But here's the thing, OpenAI didn't say a word about it at first. It was all very hush-hush until they finally dropped a little bombshell on us. OpenAI took to X to casually mention that they'd slipped in a new version of their GPT-40 model into ChatGPT. So they just updated the model we've all been using without making a big deal about it. The message was simple. There's a new GPT-40 model out in ChatGPT since last week. Hope you all are enjoying it and check it out if you haven't. We think you'll like it. That's it. No fancy press release, no grand unveiling, just a tweet. Typical open AI, right? Now, if you're wondering what's so special about this new model, let's break it down. The updated version of GPT-40, which they're calling ChatGPT-40 Latest, is essentially a fine-tuned and optimized version of what we had before, but here's where it gets interesting. While OpenAI hasn't spilled all the beans, there's a lot of speculation about what this new model actually is. Some people out there are thinking this might be part of a bigger strategy by OpenAI to release different sized models, kind of like what Google and Anthropic are doing. There's been talk about a GPT-40 large, and some think this latest update could be a stepping stone in that direction. But I'm not totally sold on that idea because let's be real, if it were a brand new model, they probably would have hyped it up a lot more. So what can this new model do? Well, from what I've seen and what others have reported, it's performing better on tasks that require complex reasoning and creativity. Like if you've been asking ChatGPT to help with coding or solve tricky problems, you might have noticed it's just a little bit sharper now. It's also faster, which is a nice bonus, but of course it's not perfect. There are still some weird quirks. For example, in one test, the model was asked to stack a book, nine eggs, a laptop, a bottle, and a nail in a stable manner. The solution? It suggested putting nine eggs on top of a bottle. I mean, come on, who does that? And then when it was asked how many R's are in the word strawberry, it came back with two which is definitely wrong. So yeah, there are still some bugs to work out, but overall, the update is a step in the right direction. Now, talking about Strawberry, let's talk about something that's been generating a lot of hype, Project Strawberry. The idea behind Project Strawberry is that it could be a new post-training method that boosts the model's reasoning skills. Some people are even saying that the improvements we're seeing in ChatGPT might be the first signs of this mysterious project in action. One of the coolest things about the new ChatGPT 4.0 latest model is how it handles multi-step reasoning. This basically means the AI isn't just jumping to conclusions, it's thinking things through step by step before it gives you an answer. That's a pretty big deal because it leads to more accurate and thoughtful responses, which is something we all want, right? The new model has already made waves in the AI community, especially in something called the LMSYS leaderboard. Now, if you're not familiar with it, the LMSYS leaderboard is like the Olympics for AI models. They put different models head to head in all sorts of tasks. And the new chat GP40 latest model just crushed it. It scored a whopping 1314 points, which is the highest score ever recorded on that leaderboard. This means it's outperforming some of the biggest names in the game, like Google, Anthropic, and Meta. Now, if you're thinking, how do I get my hands on this new model? Well, it's super easy. OpenAI has already swapped out the old GPT-40 with the new version in both the ChatGPT website and app. So all you have to do is fire up ChatGPT and you're good to go. If you're on the free plan, you might hit some message limits, but for those of you who are on the plus plan, you can push the model to the limit and really see what it can do. But don't worry if you're not ready to shell out the $20 a month for the plus plan. You can still get a good feel for the new model before you hit those limits. And then if you run out of messages, you can switch over to GPT-40 Mini. It's not quite the same, but it's still pretty powerful. Also, one more really interesting thing is how OpenAI has been testing these updates. They've been sneaking experimental models into places like the LMSY's chatbot arena under random names, so people don't even realize they're testing new tech. The ChatGPT 4.0 latest model, for example, was tested under the name Anonymous Chatbot, and it got over 11,000 votes from users. 
That's a lot of people unknowingly helping out with the testing, which just goes to show how clever OpenAI's approach is. So what's next? Well, if this update is anything to go by, we can expect OpenAI to keep refining and improving ChatGPT. They're clearly focused on making it better at reasoning, creativity, and all those tasks that require a bit more brain power. And who knows, maybe we'll see even more of Project Strawberry in the future. All right, now I also want to talk about a new AI model that just came out, but it didn't really get the attention it deserves. This model, called Falcon Mamba 7B, was released by the Technology Innovation Institute, TII, in Abu Dhabi. TII is known for working on cutting-edge technologies like AI, quantum computing, and robotics, and now they've dropped this new model. It's available on Hugging Face, and it's an open-source model, which is pretty cool, but what really sets it apart is the new architecture it's using. Most of us are familiar with transformer models, which have been dominating the AI scene for a while now, but Falcon Mamba 7B uses something different called the Mamba State Space Language Model, SLM architecture. This new approach is quickly becoming a solid alternative to those traditional transformer models. Now, why is this important? Well, transformers are great, but they have some issues, especially when it comes to handling longer pieces of text. You see, transformers use an attention mechanism that looks at every word in a text and compares it to every other word to understand the context. But as the text gets longer, this process demands more and more computing power and memory. If you don't have the resources to keep up, the model slows down and struggles with longer texts. This is where SSLM comes in. Unlike transformers, SSLM doesn't just rely on comparing words to each other. Instead, it continuously updates a state as it processes the text. This means it can handle much longer sequences of text without needing a ton of extra memory or computing power. Now, Falcon Mamba 7B uses this SSLM architecture, which was originally developed by researchers at Carnegie Mellon and Princeton Universities. What's cool about this model is that it can dynamically adjust its parameters based on the input so it knows when to focus on certain parts of the text and when to ignore others. So how does Falcon Mamba 7B stack up against the big players like Meta's Llama 38B, Llama 3.18B, and Mistral 7B? TII ran some tests and the results are pretty impressive. In terms of how much text the model can handle, Falcon Mamba 7B can fit larger sequences than the transformer models using just a single 24 GB A10 GPU. This means it can theoretically handle infinite context length if you process the text token by token or in chunks. And again, Falcon Mamba 7B came out on top. It beat Mistral 7B's sliding window attention architecture by generating all tokens at a constant speed without any increase in memory usage. And that's a big deal for anyone working with large-scale AI tasks because it means the model is both fast and efficient. Even when it comes to standard industry benchmarks, Falcon Mamba 7B holds its own. In tests like ARC, Truthful QA, and GSM 8K, it outperformed or matched the top Transformer models. Sure, there were a couple of benchmarks, like MMLU and Hellaswag, where it didn't quite take the lead, but it was still right up there with the best of them. But here's the thing, this is just the beginning for Falcon Mamba 7B. Tichu has big plans to keep optimizing the model and expanding its capabilities. They're not just stopping at SSLM, they're also pushing the limits of transformer models to keep driving innovation in AI. So if you're into AI or just curious about what the future holds, keep an eye on Falcon Mamba 7B. It's already making a name for itself, and with TII's continued efforts, it's only going to get better. Plus, with over 45 million downloads of their Falcon models, TII is proving that they're a major player in the AI world. All right, if you found this interesting, make sure to hit that like button, subscribe, and stay tuned for more AI insights. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you in the next one.